Okay, so this is step three of how to solve the Rubik's Cube, um, in which case this step is the uh, completing the entire second layer, which looks like this. So as you can see, um, these four edge pieces have been placed in their correct spots so that uh, the uh, basically two-thirds of the Rubik's Cube is done. So this entire bit right here will be finished, and once you're done with this step, then we'll move on to finishing that last layer. Okay, so there's two algorithms you need to know for this step, um, in which case we're going to be shooting edges from this top layer right here into their corresponding slots down here in the second layer. So, um, the, uh, the first algorithm is going to be a shoot to front, in which case we'll be shooting an edge from here down into this slot here. So what you want to do is once you find the edge in the top layer, in ca which case it's this one, you want to line it up with the color with its corresponding middle piece so that the colors are the same. And then it makes like a T-shape right here. So you can see the T-shape right here, an inverted upside down T. So um, what you're going to do is line up the colors and then hold it on the right side and then what you're going to do is perform the following algorithm. Right inverted, up inverted, right inverted, up inverted, right inverted, up, right, up, right. And as you can see, it shot that piece down into there. Um, so the next algorithm, it's similar. So again, we're going to line up the color so it makes a T-shape, upside down T-shape. But instead of shooting it into this slot right here, we're going to shoot it into this slot right here. So we're going to shoot to back. So it's going to go from here to here. So again, make sure your color's lined up upside down T. Hold it on the right side. And instead, with the shoot to back, you're going to do this algorithm. Right, up, right, up, right. Up inverted, right inverted, up inverted, right inverted. And that's the, uh, that's the second layer. Those are the two algorithms you need to know. And now I'm going to do a, uh, a sample solve for you, just so uh, you understand how it works. Okay, so this is a Rubik's Cube um, after I have the uh, first layer done. And now I'm going to solve the second. So I'm going to do a uh, step-by-step, just so uh, you understand you know, the mental process while doing it. So uh, I see this edge right here. It's the first one. I see it's red-green. Um, so I'm going to line it up with the red color, and then it's going to be a shoot to back, because I'm shooting it from here to here. So it's going to be right, up, right, up, right, up inverted, right inverted, up inverted, right inverted. And as you can see, it shot that edge uh, into the right spot right there. So I'm going to scan around, and I see this right here, the uh, orange-green edge. So I'm going to line it up with the green right here, orange on top, green right there upside down T, and again it's a shoot to back, so right, up, right, up, right, up inverted, right inverted, up inverted, right inverted. And it sh shot that in there. Alright, so next I have a shoot to front, which is orange, orange and blue, so 30 lined up, and I'm just going to shoot it right here, so I'm going to go right inverted, up inverted, right inverted, up inverted, right inverted, up right, up right. And the last edge right here, so line up the blue, upside down T, and to shoot to back. So right, up, right, up, right, up, right, 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 up, inverted, right, inverted. And that's basically uh, how you do the first two layers. Now you may come across a case like this, where you have your Rubik's Cube, you're scanning your top layer, and you're like, Oh, well, I don't have, all my, all the edges have yellow, so, uh, you know, I must be done with my second layer. And you're not, because you have this piece right here, which is, it's the right piece in the right spot, just incorrectly flipped. So, uh, you know, what you need to do is, we need to, there's no algorithm just to flip it, and this happens a lot in the Ruby Shoe, where pieces are in the right spots, just incorrectly flipped. So, uh, what we need to do is, we can't flip it, so what we're going to do is insert this edge right here into that spot, and in turn, this piece will pop out right here. So uh, we're going to shoot to front. This 
yellow orange edge into this spot so right inverted up inverted right inverted up inverted right inverted upright upright and as you can see that that piece is now in there and this edge popped out right here so now we can line it up with the right color and shoot to back with right up right up right up inverted right inverted up inverted right inverted and that's basically the uh that's probably the only case where uh, you might not know what to do So for a recap on the uh, this step, what you're doing in your second layer is finding edges in this top layer right here, and uh, the next step is then to line it up with the color and make the upside down T shape, and after that, you need to memorize those two algorithms, the shoot to front and shoot to back. Once you memorize them, you either shoot the piece to the front or to the back, so in this case, shoot to the front. And um, you do that for all your edges until your second layer is complete. And also, if you come across a piece that's in the right spot, just incorrectly flipped, what you need to do is insert a yellow, a yellow, another color edge into there, and in turn it'll pop out right there. So, so I did that. Now I'm going to line it up with the upside down T, and then, and um, and that's basically it. Um, so make sure you get a Go to the step four for this tutorial. It's uh, it's on the OLL, which is the orientation of the last layer, or in other words, getting yellow on the entire top. And uh, I'll explain that in the next tutorial.